Hey guys, so I was watching Asmin Goad's video about uh, Sweet Baby Inc. and how deranged their CEO is. And yeah, that person is super deranged. And I would not uh, hire her as a consultant in any any type of business I would be doing. Now, why does uh, Sweet Baby Inc. have to do with Magic the Gathering? Well, they actually are a consultant to Wizards of the Coast, not Hasbro. But to Wizards of the Coast. So they're giving, uh, as you can see from their website, that has now been deleted. They have deleted all, not their website, all of the companies they work with. So from a consulting agency, that's kind of interesting, right? When you're giving consulting, typically speaking, people are paying because you can help them promote the agency or promote your product. Now it's gotten so, so bad that uh, yes, this thing has happened here. Um, again, I think this has a lot to do with uh, basically the backlash that you have on these games. So any game that Sweet Baby Inc. is involved in, it turns out it does very, very poorly. And any game that they promote, and again, this is Kim's interview, XOXO, it comes off to me as very unhinged where she's frightening games including probably let's be honest magic the gathering that if you don't pay her money for her con quote consulting they will attack your marketing department and they will attack give you like negative reviews and review bomb you which is one way to advertise of course but at the end of the day this is no longer as effective when advertising yourself you don't really get anywhere right like this consulting agency, what does it really bring, right? The diversity, exclusion, inclusion, whatever. It, it doesn't really bring, uh, in my opinion, all that much. And yet they're charging ridiculous amounts of money for it. Um, and who really knows, you know, who really knows long term if this is a going to be a successful business model whereby frightening people that if you're not going to hire this agency, then they will attack you for not being diverse. And again, this is the exact um, scenario that is happening right now. Is that if you do not hire this, if Wizard of the Coast does not hire this agency, they will make sure that Wizard of the Coast suffers on social media. They will send their employees to attack them and claim that, oh, you are being racist, right? Right is um, I think in terms of long term, um, it is a very funny thing to have in our society where it's you know like a, a person of diverse thing can fret into you, you can see all this stuff, how to get your marketing team to listen, terrorize them. Diversity or else makes it clear she wants to erase white male lead characters. Like, is this really, um, really, uh, is this really the way to do it? I don't think so. Uh, and Wizard of the Coast, by paying this amount of money, is quite interesting. And paying this amount of money to this type of organization is funding them to do more of this type of behavior, right? So in aspect, by you buying a Magic the Gathering card, you are funding an organization that is destroying Magic the Gathering. And the more uh, that you buy Magic the Gathering cards, the more you are funding the destruction of your own game. Uh, you can see from the media, you can see from the attention that any game that this company has been involved in, it has gone down to zero. And unfortunately, Magic the Gathering is such a game that this company has been involved in. It's very, very bad that Wizard of Coast, you can see the little logo here, is part of this uh, initiative. They're paying money. So... 
they're making more money than ever because they're milking people. This is where the money is going, guys. Uh, you might be like, okay, so Wizard of the Coast is making more money than ever. They got collector's editions, secret lairs. Um, they got uh, Lord of the Rings, right? They have a lot of things going for them. And they're charging a lot of money. It's not like these things aren't going on discount. Where is all the money going? Well, some of the money, if not a large portion, I think the, um, to my knowledge, Sweet Baby Inc., they charge a few million dollars. Well, uh, there you go. A few million dollars of the your money, your, your Magic the Gathering, and your Mana Crips, and your Jewel Lotuses, right, uh, is going to Sweet Baby Inc., and Sweet Baby Inc. is doing everything it can in their power to destroy the game that you so love. Very fascinating. I have to say that uh, in terms of like what will happen, it's kind of a feedback mechanic that you learn in biology, like basic biology, that the, the feedback will continue and continue and continue. And eventually it will destroy itself because that's what it's meant to do. It's not meant to uh, do anything else, uh, but to just kind of F itself up, right? Um, which is unfortunate. That's what's going to happen soon. So I, I'm basically, you know, I'm not buying any more Magic cards. Uh, maybe I will sell my collection very soon. I, I don't feel positive about the game anymore, the longevity of the game. I feel like since Sweet Baby Inc. has been involved, I've noticed a very dynamic shift in the game. Uh, and you, you might be like, oh, that was Autumn Brucelli. I think it's all kind of the same thing I'm feeling, where I don't feel included in the game anymore. As a nerd, as someone who has played the game since they were very, very young, uh, it's no longer for me. Uh, this game, I, you know, I stopped buying collections. I, I don't have any interest in opening another store. A lot of the channels are doing so much better. Like, Magic, it's dying. I think it's dying. Like, the OGs of Magic are dying. Um, and who knows? You know, who knows long-term um, if Magic can survive? I Very few companies survive Sweet Baby Inc. Let me put it that way for you. Very, very few companies survive their involvement with Sweet Baby Inc., Magic Gathering would have to be the exception, right? They would need to be the exception because the other companies, Square Enix, Sony, all these other big companies, they can't survive. Sweet Baby Inc. So you're telling me Magic the Gathering is the exception? You look at that list of companies and then you ask how they're doing today after Sweet Baby Inc. took hold. And the answer is not good. The answer is not good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.